backwards. You tell. Everybody seen a upside down turtle? Yes. No. Look at that belly. I don't know. Look at that nose on that thing. I don't know if it has a nose. It's a nose. I think it's a nose. Yeah, it's a nose. Look at that. Look at that nose. 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 Look at that Hook fell out of its foot when we got it in the net. Can't believe I caught it. Just wish I was recording when Danielle was chasing it down the riverbank. <laughs> 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 Alright, Danielle, get that net I got in the back of the... Is my wire net in the boat? Or truck? What are we going to do with it? I told you, I'm tucking it. You're not taking that home? Well, there's a way you can cut it. If you cut it right, there's like seven different tastes in there. I heard it was good. I've always wanted to try it, but I don't know how to clean it. The wire basket. Uh, do I not have my wire basket? Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, Corey, if you're watching this, I'm going to show you my net that I described about catching minnows. But, uh, yeah, I had to look for it, and it's... We we'll always put it. Okay. Now I'm gonna let them have it. Or there's a guy that he might be out here later. But uh, y'all see my net? Which? Yeah, I guess it's got the light. There's just a wire basket that when you catch fish, you can open up the bottom and let the fish out. The top, you just put the fish in there. But the wire baskets, you can get them for like seven bucks. Go buy you a pool noodle. Get you some either trot line or just fishing line. You cut this to size. That way when you throw that in the water, it floats. That way, because I've used them for years when I was a kid, and my fish would die because you throw them in shallow water, and they didn't have room to swim. So I learned this about 20 years ago. And um, that way... The floaters are 15 bucks. You could buy one for $7, spend a dollar on a noodle, and one noodle will make two of them. But anyway, this is a shout out to Wolfpack Woodcraft, which I got one more thing for y'all to look at. I, to be honest, I should be wearing it, but it's really hot out here right now. But y'all check this out Wolfpack Woodcraft. My first shirt that I've got as a uh, donation, they, he sent me one, and he sent my daughter one. I don't know. Yep, she was had hers on yesterday. She um, It's in her house. She's not wearing it tonight. But anyway, Corey, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for that shirt. I don't have any fishing shirts. I don't really have any shirts to, you know... You know, well, for the outdoors, you know, I just, you know, I wear tank tops, y'all. Y'all seen me. You know, I got to be wearing my tank top because I'm hot. But I promise I ain't going to cut them, I ain't going to cut them sleeves off. But, uh, I'm going to be moving to either Alabama or South Carolina come this uh, Christmas. I'm getting out of here. We've had more problems. And we had some racist cop down here last night. I'm fishing with one of my friends. He's 35, the one I'm giving my fishing stuff to. Or helping him out. He's got his kids out here tonight. Here's one of them. You want to say your name? Patrick. Patrick? Everybody call me PJ for sure. PJ? Okay. Oh, your name right after your daddy, huh? Where'd your daddy go up to the bathroom? With your brother? Oh, catching minnows? Okay. Uh, his dad, uh, Patrick's over there. He's 35. He's got four kids. He was out here fishing one night. His pole was broke. So, being I helped kids, but I haven't helped, you know, any in a while. I let him borrow one of my rod and reels. Right there. But uh, I let him fish with it. That way he can catch him a catfish because he tried and his little old brim pole broke. But uh, Dude, what is that? 
he had a little old plastic tool, tackle box with some stuff, so I, I gave him some uh, hooks and some uh, plastics just to, you know, let him have some fun. He's up, yep, yep, and some goldfish. But um, in 35 years, he's only fished the last two months, so it's kind of a shame, you know. All your life you haven't fished, so I thought it was time for him to catch some fish. So we gave him a bunch, you know, a, well, not a bunch, but I gave him enough stuff. And I told him, I said, here, hold on to my rod and reel. So he held on to it. I took the picture. You know, I posted it on Big and Little Fishers. You can look it up. Big in with a uh, little mark between the front and the back and Little Fishers. And we got done. He put the stuff in his tackle box. I folded my table and I folded my rod and reel up. I said, here you go. I don't lie. He looked at me. I said, hey, you took a picture with it. I said, this is yours. So this is yours. So even the adults, you get a beautiful smile when you, you know, we do something like that. But anyway, I came back the second time, and I got him a tackle box. That was my tackle bag for my, my hooks and everything that I keep all my hooks in. I gave him some plastic totes, some more worms and hooks and weights and big bobbers and, you know, gave him a bell, gave him all kind of stuff. That way, you know, him and his kids have got stuff. This is the first time I've met his kids, so uh, um, I didn't bring no stuff with me. I bought one rod and reel, but it's for a smaller kid. But, uh, you know, if he wants one Star Wars, you know, I'll set it up for him. That way he's got one. I take some more pictures of my group. But, uh, yeah, it, felt, it, it feels good to help. But anyway, we're down here last night. The cops show up. They couldn't see me. Now, get this. Normally, I don't talk about this stuff online and all that, but this, it's, it's wrong. I don't care who you are. It is wrong. They seen my daughter sitting in the truck. They said, um, ma'am, are you with him? And she goes, yeah, I'm with him, which Patrick was sitting there. Well, the cop shines a light in Patrick's face. The other cop's like, well, you got a license. And she says, no, he's driving. Danielle didn't know they couldn't see me on the other side of the truck. And I'm trying to be funny. I got my arms up in the air. I'm fixing to say I didn't do it because I can't catch them, you know. But uh, the cop told my daughter, says, oh, ma'am, can you step out of the truck? And they put the light in Patrick's face, got on his uh, radio, and says, this is car at 53 or something. We need backup now. I stood up. I said, excuse me. I said, sir, I said, that's my daughter. That's not his daughter. She's with me, and he's my friend. Well, they took the flashlight down quick, and oh, okay. Uh, well, we didn't know that. Um, well, we're fixing to lock the gate. Y'all got to get out of here. Don't want to lock you in. Now, I know y'all can't see it. The gate's over there going to the back park. We're up here there's no gate there's no and i told him i said sir i said we're allowed to set out here i said i've done talk to the officers and we can as long as we're fishing we can set out here all night he goes well you know more than i do i said yes sir i do you know i'm not usually rude to cops but yeah what he did last night to patrick was way way over the line well he got on the phone and says okay don't need backup which of course a couple cops showed up anyway and they stood up the hill up there and sat there and watched well I left the parking lot went up by the bathrooms and as soon as I went around the bathroom he goes to pull over here well I turned around and came back and sat on the other side where the cop stops just sits there well finally about five minutes later the cop leaves so I left told Patrick I'll see you later I texted him I got home not five minutes later I get a text from Patrick they came back so I got my phone went off last night. I couldn't text him. So uh, just the minute I got home, it went off. So I got on my, you know, got on Facebook and I messaged him. And he called one of his buddies to come out here. And they come out here and sat with him for a few minutes. And finally the cops left. No, I don't know if any Monroe cops watch my uh, YouTube. But dude, that was wrong. I don't care who you think you are. I don't care what the president says. If he's sitting there saying cops got to be more stricter. No, that's wrong. I don't care what color your skin is or what color you think people's skin is supposed to be. You don't do that. You come down. You be polite to us. We're going to be polite to you. Me, I got an attitude problem. I'm nice to anybody, but you get an attitude to me or my friends, I'm going to get an attitude back. You know, I was nice last night, and I've tell you, I've asked cops to take their gun and their badge and set it to the side. When they uh, told me to give my daughter away one time when she was seven, says I wasn't fit to. No man should raise a kid by theirself. You ain't got a wife, you give your kids up to adoption or give them to a family that can take care of them. Well, I got mad, told him to drop his gun in his badge. I was fixing to whoop the dog, you know, out of him. 
Well, another cop got them, took them away, and got them away from me because I was mad. But anyway, that's one of the main reasons I want out of here. There's too much racism going on in my town because it's a bunch of redneck hillbillies. And I'm redneck, I'm hillbilly as they come, but I'm not putting up with it. I'm not, I didn't, I wasn't raised to be racist, to be a bigot. You know, you're nice to me, I'm nice to you. I don't care who you are. But, uh, yeah. But anyway, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said all that. But, um, yeah, just, I did, that, that ticked me off last night. But my daughter's in driver's training. I borrowed $300 yesterday from a friend of mine. Told him if I, if I can't pay it back next month, I'm just going to, I'll give him my van. You know, I'll sell the van for 300 bucks to give it back. I said, I want my daughter to get her license or get her permit. That way, me and her could take turns. It's only 300 miles to Alabama. I've got a gentleman, Otis. He's a sergeant. Well, was a sergeant. He's um, out. He got shot. He's another guy that got pulled over because of because of what he was driving, and they tried to, and it was a DNR that pulled him over, but that's another story. If anybody wants to know, just, you know, just ask me. But anyway, he's going to drive me. He's going to get one of his buddies with the truck, and he's going to either follow me to Alabama, stay a day or two, then take me on to South Carolina, or he'll just drop me off there, then I'll get a nephew to get me to South Carolina. If the bull ain't stopped in South Carolina, I heard it's, they're getting nasty over there too, so... You know, Alabama, I don't know how bad it is, but I got to go where there's no racism. I know that's going to be hard, but, you know, I just want to go out to the country, find me a fishing hole, let my daughter go through school, grow up, be a good girl, get her a good job, find her a good man, have a family of her own without all this friggin' garbage. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. Um, again, the shout out is for Wolfpack and um, Woodcraft, Mr. Corey. Thank you. Thank you for the shirt and the shirt for my daughter. That is awesome. You know, I would have bought one if I'd have had the money. There's many groups that's got shirts that I would love to have, but I just, I can't support them all. I, you know, I don't have $20 a shirt, but uh, I can finally, you know, sh you know, support somebody. That is awesome. I promise my next video, I will be wearing the shirt. It's just, it's so hot out here tonight. You know, it's just, it's, it's awful. But, uh, I'm going to let y'all go, but there's my basket in the dark. I'm sorry I did this in the dark. I should have did it during the day, but we just got out here. It was dark when we got out here. But thanks, everybody. Y'all have a great weekend. Like I always tell everybody, take a kid fishing. Take somebody fishing. Give somebody a rod and reel. Just give somebody a smile. We need smiles. Everybody, young, old, white, black, yellow, purple, pink, even the green aliens. You see one? A UFO stops, hand him a rod and reel and say, dude, let's go fishing. Let's go catch us some dinner. And I bet you he won't probe you. <laughs> yeah. Because I sure don't want the probing. Yeah. Ain't. Doctor done probed me one time and I'm like, uh uh. Ain't no scope going there no more. I just had to bleed. But anyway, yeah, that, that was wrong. Sorry, Lord. But anyway, y'all have a good weekend. Have a good month. And um, God bless all of y'all.